Hi everyone, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, your automotive advisor here at Rainy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And here behind me I have a 2022 Honda Civic Touring Sedan. I'm going to show you guys all the cool standard features and functions for those that are considering to buy this new 11 gen Honda Civic. All right, you guys have any questions, I'll do my best, drop them down below in the comments and let's show you what all the excitement's about. All right, let's get going. All right, so here we are, right outside the 2022 Honda Civic Sedan Touring. We're gonna walk up to the Moroni sticker as usual. You guys are welcome to pause right here to explore on your own. Now up on the top right-hand corner talks about your fuel economy. 31 for the city, 38 for the highway with a combined rating of 34. Down on the right-hand corner talks about your safety ratings and where the vehicle's made at. Right over here, we got the price point of the vehicle and then the list of standard features which we're gonna go over today. This particular color is called Rally Red with a black interior. Now, as usual, you got remote start. To use remote start, you hit lock, then hold this button down here for a few seconds. Then it'll start right up here. It's gonna heat and cool the car to 72 degrees, runs in 10 minute intervals, and the doors will remain locked for you. All right, now also with the 11 Gen, you have a new key fob. So it's kind of nice, a little more curved. It has a whole different feel. Feels good in your hand. So. Just got this nice little hump here in the back, all right? Now to shut this off, all you have to do is click and hold that button down for a few seconds and everything shuts off right there. Now you're gonna have the 1.5 four cylinder turbo with VTAC is a huge important thing with the CVT transmission on there, all right? So you, now you can have 180 horsepower is gonna be there. You have LED lights all the way around. That includes your daytime running lights, headlights, fog lights, and tail lights. So now you're set for those LEDs, all right? Now all of your Honda sensing features come standard. I'm talking about your lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, your forward collision magnetic braking, and road departure. We also have traffic jam assist too. Now a cool thing about this 11 Gen is with your sensing features have improved. So what I mean is you got this camera right up here that controls a lot of your Honda sensing features. It's wider too, okay? And then also we don't have the big radar sensor anymore. So they improved it. You got your parking sensors, uh, also doubles as parking sensors and for your sonar, for your adaptive cruise control. So you got them right here, here, right there, and then right there, all right? So you have a nice black finish here within the fog lights, I like that. Looks pretty good, kind of a new style of the headlights. Then you're gonna have your turning indicators, daytime rain lights, all that can be right up there on the top, all right? So it's gonna look really nice, very clean as you kind of going on. Now let's kind of give you guys a little close look here on the front end of this vehicle. This vehicle is gonna be a little wider than the uh, previous generation, all right? It's gonna be a half inch wider. The wheelbase is gonna be 1.4 inches longer too as well. Looks pretty good. All right, we'll step right over here towards the uh, side. We have these nice 18 inch alloy rims. And then of course we got body colored side mirrors and handles. It's gonna be heated side mirrors. You got some chrome action on the top of the windows right here. Of course, they're gonna keep that from there. Then we're also gonna have a smart entry. So when the car's all locked, you can walk up, put your hand in the handle. Unlocks right there from that point. You can simply lock it too as you walk away. You got the little ridges here now, just like in the CRV. Put my thumb on it. Now it locks, and you cannot accidentally lock your keys in the car. So let's say for some reason I'm like, oops, drops right in there, locks the door, right? Shuts it. Guess what? Boom, unlocks. So that's pretty nice too. You're also going to have walkaway auto lock feature. All right, so if you walk away 10 feet from the car, automatically locks the car from that point. As long if you have the key fob with you, it's not sitting in the car, all right? Also right up here, you have rain sensing wipers. So we have that on auto, it automatically comes right on when it senses the rain. Cool thing about the wipers now, you got a little sprays right here. It sprays strategically in a way, so it would be less fluid and be more effective too as well. So it only sprays the direction your wipers would be going. So a bonus right there. Let's kind of step back, give you guys the side profile. Now, of course, we're gonna have the capless gas tank. So when the car is unlocked, you can pop this right open. No longer $2 cap to argue, debate with. It's a simple slide and go, living the dream. When then this is all locked up, it's locked too. Now we're gonna to step here towards the back. As we're doing that, let's check out the trunk lid here quick. 
As you see, we don't have a deck spoiler anymore. It's kind of built in right there with the trunk lid. Looks pretty good. You have your LED taillights. Just for safety, you know, as you plan to the brakes, it makes it more of a bold statement from there. Dual exhaust. Once again, you got your parking sensors in the back. Body colored. We're gonna have the multi-angle rear camera with cross-traffic mounting system too. All right, we'll show you what that means on the inside from there. We're gonna have a trunk release. As you see that, what I love about this, this is like the kitchen cabinet doors, all right? When you have the self-closing ones, they kind of come down quick, slows down, so it's not slamming shut. Same concept with here. It's like baby in it. I love it. Now, we're going to have 60-40 split seats. Take a little quick look back down here. Now, you can have a Bose sound system. Just kind of point that out. You got your subwoof right there. And then, of course, you're going to have 12 speakers, all right? We're going to check out the back. Plenty of space here in the trunk. Spare tire down below with the emergency funnel and tools you may need for those unforeseen events. Now let's say I got my gym bag. Oops, right, left it in there. Purse, jacket, shut it. Pops right open. Pretty loud beep. Pretty nice. I'm loving it. Now of course we have a touring badge right here for badge of honor. Now, the cool thing is they got rid of the Honda Lane Watch. I know some of you guys are going to have mixed feelings about it, but it replaced it for EX and above with a blind spot information system, all right? So when you're driving down the road at least 20 miles an hour faster, since there's a car off to the side, it lights up. Then it's going to beep at you when a car is in your blind spot and you have your turning indicator on, then it's going to beep at you. You can customize all that too as well, all right? And we're also going to have your turning indicators right here on the side mirror. One touch power moonroof, shark fin antenna. Let's check out the back seat. As we open this up right away, nice leather armrest. You have a whole different kind of texture still going on right over here. Nice little bit of trim work going on. So let you guys soak this right in. You guys know about power windows. You got some additional cubby space down below. Then of course we have our leather seats. All right, carpet mats come standard. No additional charge for those bad boys. You have a nice little courtesy pocket over here on the passenger side. A couple USB ports. You have your armrest with additional cup holders. Now you're also gonna have your anchors for your car seats. Let's jump right back here as you can see. One, two, and three. Then right up here on top, you got your little dome lights. It actually has wording on it this time. Nice little switch going on. Then there we go. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video here quick. I just want to say thank you again for watching. If you guys found this video helpful, hit that like, smash that subscribe button, show your support. Now let's get back to all the excitement, all right? All right guys, one more safety thing here to point out in the back for you guys. You can have an additional airbags, what they have done for the Civics now, right here. They also, you're still going to have the current airbags too as well within the pillar, all right? Now, as we come here towards the front, the positioning of the side mirrors is at a different location. The previous generation, 10 Gen, you're going to have them right here within the pillar. Now, they're going to be on the door, all right? And also, as you come here at the door handle, you're going to notice you don't have a key uh, hole right there, right? You do, but it's going to be right under the handle, okay? So, they clean that up a little bit, kind of put it out of sight as you open that up. You can see it right underneath there. Now let's open up the front door. Here we go. You get the same trim work going on as you do in the back. You guys know about power windows, power locks. You got your mirror selectors from right here, the D-pad, then the window lock button, just in case if anyone in the back's misbehaving. Nice leather armrest, soft to the touch, feels pretty good. Then you have some additional cubby space down below. You can have your trunk release right here on the door. Power seating on both sides, all right? So the passenger side over there is gonna go forward and back, then you got your recline mode. Then over here on the driver's side, you can, of course, you got your forward, you got your back, you got your up, down, then you also got the tilt at the front half, then your recline. So you can totally customize it to suit your particular needs. Your hood release is gonna be wrapped around over here, off to the side, you gotta pull that towards you, okay? 
let's jump right in. Let's cool off here. It's going to be a push button. Start. So make sure you have the key fob with you when you get into the car. Put your foot down on the brake, then hit the start button and watch everything light up. Well, we'll get some air going here. Now over here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, you got some additional buttons. You got your parking sensors. The one right down below is going to be for a quick point to customize some of your Honda sensing features. And then you have your vehicle stability assist right there. You can customize the brightness. Maybe a driver's interface right here. Now we'll come over here at the steering wheel. Of course, you're going to have your Honda sensing features. Over here on the right-hand side, that hasn't changed. You got your cruise control button. So right now it's off. I hit the cruise control. You can see how it changes your nice 10.2 driver's interface screen right here. Turn it off. All I'm doing is I'm selecting this button, all right? Now this is for your adaptive cruise control. You got your lane keep assist right there. So now with the adaptive cruise control, when you have your cruise control on, it uh, keeps you at a certain distance of your car. So let's say you're going, I don't know, 35, the car in front of you is going 30, it senses that car, it warns you, depending on how you have your settings set up at, slows you down to maintain your distance at that certain distance for you, okay? Now we have your lane keep assist, is for your highway driving between 45 and 90 miles an hour. We'll give you a nice display up here when it's on, it's working. When you go out of your lanes a little bit, it will beep at you and bring you back too as well. All right, so you can customize the sensitivity if it's going to beep at you. We will also have your traffic uh, jam assist too as well that does everything under that 40 miles an hour. All right, so you're going to have your control brake system. You're going to have the adapted pretty much is going to be in there. And then the lane keep assist. It's just for that lower speeds under 45 miles an hour. All right. So long if you have these features on, it will automatically adjust to that point, then we'll shut off when you get up to past that speed, all right? Now you can increase and decrease your speed with your cruise control of your cruise control right here. You also can cancel it when you have it going on, all right? Over here, you got your media control. So you can go from your radio stations, you got your volume, then you also have your voice command. You also got your little scroll. Over here, you got to scroll to as well. And you can customize everything that's going on over here. I'll make a separate video for a little more detail for you guys. I'll put it down in the description for the link once I have it done. To answer those questions more in detail, okay? All right, now we have your shifter paddles, of course. Over here with your headlights on auto, you got your brights, you got your fog lights, everything from that point. Now, the cool thing about this is you turn on your headlights. Look at that little car. Shows you the headlights are on. Turn on my indicators. Check that out. I'm loving this. Hazard lights. Now over here, you got your wipers, of course, okay? You got auto wipers, so when you put it down one right now and select an auto, when it rains, it's gonna sense that, it actually comes on, you can adjust how fast you're going on to as well from that point, okay? Temperature gauge right over there. You got your outside temperature, 76 degrees it says is out there. They got your tank. Now, as you come over here to the steering wheel, it's going to be fully adjustable. Now, down below, it used to be down below, but now it's here to the side. A little easier for you to grab. Up, down, telescope, all that. Adjust what you see fit, and then lock it back in place, all right? Now, as you guys really can know, for the first time ever, American Honda, right here, we have a Bose sound system, all right? A premium sound system. As you're kind of checking out your climate stuff, it's really nice, soft. Shows you a little indicators if I can get off the glare. And how much air is going to be going through. So it's off, kind of gets going. Nice kind of breakaway points, give you a nice little visual. You can adjust it. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but anytime you get it re-centered, it clicks. 
That's awesome. All right. So there's that right there. We're going to come over here to the touch screen right now for you guys. All right. All right. So here we are at the touch screen right now. We're at the home menu, of course. So you're going to have your navigation. You can access navigation from here or right down there. It doesn't matter. So let's kind of select it from that point. Loads right up pretty darn quick. As you guys can see, everything is pretty quick and responsive. It's a very high refresh rate. It's, it's awesome. It's just boom. There it is. All right. So you can also do your phone from down here. You can pair up multiple phones as you get incoming calls, stuff like that. You can have your radio options. Your different source right up here. So you're going to have FM, AM radio, satellite radio. You get three months of that for free. After that, you have to contact them to continue that paid subscription. And then you have your USB, Bluetooth, and your smartphone connection. You have wireless, Apple CarPlay, and wireless Android Auto. Uh, only in the touring model, all right? Now this uh, touch screen is gonna be a nine inch touch screen, all right? It's only available in the touring model for the nine inch. The other ones down below, the LX, the Sport, and the EX are gonna have a smaller touch screen from there, all right? Now, as we kind of chuck, uh, playing around with some buttons down here, you're gonna have these smart shortcuts. So this is gonna be pretty awesome. It's gonna learn from you, the car is. Based on, as you can see, the summary right here, Pretty much as you're driving, it's going to notice your routes, uh, your stops, your music, phone calls, everything as you're kind of doing stuff. The longer you do, you know, live in your car, the more it's going to learn from you on your habits, all right? So it's going to suggest some things and things like that. So you guys are going to love that as you kind of go around. It's going to notice what kind of apps you're going to use, all right? All right, let's talk about this over here, display screen. Change the brightness if this kind of bugs you for your day and nighttime driving. You got a little flirting just because my phone can't keep up with the refresh rate of that. But then let's say this one bugs you during your nighttime driving. You can turn this brightness or just shut the screen off too. You just display off. It's right there. Compared to the previous generations, you have to find that little star or moon. You got to hold it down. Then we shut it off from that point. All right. Just hit the back button and it magically comes right back on for you. Home. You got your back. You have a nice little volume control right here. It clicks, it feels kind of good, you can feel that. And then of course you got your different source buttons from there, all right? I'll kind of quietly here just thumb through some of this stuff. Of course, I'm gonna do a tips and tricks video for you guys later on. I'll put that down in the description so you guys can find that once I have it available for you. You got your general settings. They you divide your vehicle settings and stuff up. And then your vehicle settings right here. Look at that, nice little photos and everything makes it quick and easy to find all this good stuff at a lot more user friendly all right we'll come down here to the climate control now you can have dual climate you got your sync button here you got your fan speed from there you can see it right there on the knob I don't know if you guys can hear this click too. all these buttons click they feel good you have your heated seats three tier heated seats Your different modes. Front defroster, rear defroster with heated side mirror, and then your AC on and off for your control. Right over here, we have a couple additional USBs, 12 volt plug in, wireless phone charger. We'll come right down over here. So we're going to have of course, you guys know about park, reverse, as you put this into reverse, your multi-angle camera automatically displays, just like that. These Now, these down here is going to show you how the camera is going to act, all right? Sorry, I got to change the climate here quick. So there we go. So you have a nice fisheye lens, you know, 180 view. It'd be great when you're pulling out of the parking spot, stuff like that. So you can catch a little more of your blind spots. Then also you have the right behind you view, and then you're going to have the straight down shot from your rear bumper view, all right? Also, a cool thing, as you turn your wheel, guess what? It changes colors to let you know if you're lying or not, and it also guides you to as well. Now, depending if you have your parking sensors on or off, right now I have them on, I can tell, because I got that parking sensor graph right over here. As you get closer to certain things, you can see how close you're getting. It's going to change colors, all right? Now, let's say you got your parking sensors on and you don't want the graph. Hey, that's not a problem. Just hit this button. It takes you right back to the nice full inch. I'm sorry, the full nine inches of this screen right here. You can use that and you get whole view right there, right? Now, 
you're going to have the cross traffic monitoring system. Okay, so when you're backing up, a car is coming from the side, right? Boop, here it comes. It's going to beep at you and point out what direction that car is coming from too as well. So that's great. It's the first time ever that's involved uh, from there. All right, we'll put it back in park. You're going to have your neutral drive. And as you notice, so looking around, you don't have an econ button or anything to smack, right? Well, all of that's right here within the drive mode. All right, so you got a nice little bump right here as I kind of just move this around. It's going to display it right up here for us, all right? So you can select. So you can have a sport drive. It's going to change how the car is going to perform just for more fun, throbble, you know, response from that point. Changes your gear ratio. You have your normal drive. Down one more, you have your econ mode. Get a nice little thing right over there. Econ mode is going to make you more fuel efficient. Uh, it's going to be most effective for your highway driving. Once again, you may see anywhere from two to four more miles to a gallon, depending on how aggressive you're driving with that on. Now, keep in mind, it's going to change some how your car is going to perform, like your AC power, electrical power, stuff like that. It's going to change um, your acceleration, too, as well. So keep that in mind. But, hey, you just got to choose on those really hot summer days. You want to be fuel efficient or do you want to be comfortable, okay? You have idle stop. If you want to shut that off, hey, just hit that button right there. You'll see it right down below. Has a nice little A with the arrow right over there. Or you can put it in sport mode, and then automatically it won't go into with idle stop, all right? You're going to have your electrical parking brake. You can see what's on. It's right there. Then also get a nice little indicator over there in red is saying, hey, brake. Now to shut that off, you simply put your foot down on the brake, and then there we go. Check that out right there. Apply onto the brakes. You can see it right there on the graph. Take my foot off the brake. I love that whole little thing. All right, let's get back over here. You got your whole brake for you guys. Additional cup holders. Nice kind of texture feeling again from right there. Armrest, nice leather. Comes right open. There we go. So you got a little more space to work with compared to the uh, previous here. You can move this too as well. Take it right out. Nice, deep, good enough. We'll close that right up. Now we're gonna have an auto dimming rear view mirror, of course, and then the garage door opener unit. You got your map lights, curl lights, you got your one touch power moonroof. It's gonna open, close, all that good stuff. Let's come over towards the uh, glove box. Now, as you're gonna notice, the glove box, it looks like everything is kind of pushed up a little bit, but I'm also, you know, to give it more of a clean look, but it looks like I'm not losing any, any glove box space too as well. So that's really nice. Pretty much fill it up, forget about whatever's in there. I know I do it on a daily basis. And then you have your adjustable uh, air vents, everything right here, hazard lights, It's just, it's awesome. All right, let's take one little last look here on the outside here for you guys. And once again, if you guys have any questions, you know what to do. Drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer the questions for you. You guys didn't buying a brand new Civic, like to share your experience, what you like and what you don't like, share that with the community. Drop it down in the comments. I would love to hear about it. Maybe you guys uh, figure something out that I didn't know about that. Share that with the community once again, okay? Well, you guys know the drill found this helpful show your support smash that like hit that subscribe button i appreciate you guys' time appreciate you guys' support all right